you know, there's times in your lives when everything just comes together and it just makes sense. What you go through growing up and then what you've experienced presently, and it, that just all comes together and it just propels you to do what you need to do in the future. Being a school counselor, you can really take off with it. You know, you can really go beyond what happens in that office and really impact the lives of kids and their family and the community. And I think that's where I get my joy from is when I connect with the students and they know that even when I'm being, you know, it's really coming from a place of love for them and a place of concern. Because it's just, it's just awesome to be able to envision uh, what their life could be. Even more so than just teaching students new things and teaching students how the world works, uh, I realized that um, I'm making a difference. Uh, there was one time when you know, I kept a student after class uh, for misbehaving and he told me, thank you. And you know, I was taken back. Well, whoa, why are you saying thank you? And he thanked me you know, for always being on top of him, for never letting him down, for always um, asking for the best out of him. And really, he, you know, he didn't have that in his life. He, he didn't have that, that support. And here at school, you know, I, I wasn't letting him off the hook. And, and that's when I realized that you know, I, I make a difference. Teaching and learning was something that I really enjoyed. I was very inspired by teachers as I was growing up and their goodwill, their empathy, their desire to pursue knowledge. And I wanted to try to be a force for that with young people in my life. So the desire to help people, I think, was, was really the main driving force. I really am full of gratitude here. What I do for the kids, it comes back a thousandfold. I think that part of the reason we all got into teaching was to make a difference and I actually feel like I'm doing that for the first time. Everything's about the kids. I was a high school dropout. I failed computers when I went back to high school. I know how it is not to get the support to stay in school. I know how it is to, you're not told that you need to go to college. I know how that goes. Uh, my life was supposed to be driving a truck as far as my family was concerned. So since I went above that, I want the kids to do the same thing because I've dealt with these things. You know, I had such a great school experience when I was younger. I had amazing teachers. Um, that provided, you know, a great learning atmosphere. So I loved being at school. And the more I've learned about my own strengths, um, the more I realized that um, being a teacher, this career just kind of makes sense for me. It's who I am and, and really what I was meant to do. Uh, it's the kids that keep me here. It's the students that keep me here. When they, you know, are struggling and then they have that aha moment, suddenly everything clicks, you know, that, that makes you feel good inside. When you see the students using the academic language, talking to each other, pushing each other's learning, you know, that gives you hope for the future. I love these kids. I drive, and I have, for 15 years, I've driven from Rancho Bernardo here to teach. It's a long drive, but I do it because I absolutely love these kids. I teach these kids how to code, and I teach them how to use computers, and I teach them how to build stuff and create, um, and, and I see light bulbs go off, and I, I see them choose paths that they didn't even think were open to them. And that's what keeps me going. Many of our students uh, don't have a consistent role model in their life. So I also try to be that role model that every day I'm a positive person, a safe person, that they know that they can come to and rely on uh, to be a positive influence in their life. And I love this work. And I don't take um, the opportunities that I have to influence kids, I don't take that for granted. And I think that helps me and challenges me to always um, be the best that I can for kids. You need to hang on to your whys. Why did you do this? Why are you in this field? Because if you don't have a reason bigger than yourself, then it's easy to be complacent. It's easy to not be active. It's easy to just Say, well, that's just how it's been, and not challenge yourself. Hanging on to that why or why did I even do this is so important, so critical. And I hang on to that every day, every day.